Welcome back to the Punch's Chance YouTube channel. I'm delighted to be joined today with none other than Elizabeth Ashoba here at the new Prosperity Management Gym. First of all, what do you make of the new gym, a new partial home for you as well? How much are you liking it? Um, as you can see, it's a nice place, nice gym, you know, everywhere is more, it's fine, cool, yeah. And how much does this differ from the original gym you trained in back in Nigeria? What's the, uh, what's the level on that one? Um, it's just, I think, it's just the equipment, like the training facilities and equipment and all that, you know. Back in Nigeria, we've been struggling with training without no facilities, no equipment. But right here, we've got all the tools we need, we've got all the equipment, everything is, is down here. And you, you talk about having all the tools you need. You had all the tools you needed last time out to get the finish in that fight. It's a girl who's never been stopped, really. She doesn't get stopped. And you put her out there in the third round. How good a performance was that from you? Um, actually, like I've, been, like, I've been training hard for the fight. So I did expect something less than that. You understand? I know I'm going to knock her out. Like, she's, she's, not, she's, she's good. She's quite good. Like, she hasn't been knocked out before. But due to my own training performance, I know I'm going to knock out because that's what I've been working for. Yeah. Now, we spoke about you fairly recently on the podcast and I said you're something we don't see often in women's boxing. There's a lot of very talented women boxers out there, obviously in your weight division as well, the likes of Sky Nicholson, Karis Artingstall, people like this, but not many people are doing what you're doing, getting the knockouts that you're getting. Mm -hmm. Do you think that really sells you as a fighter, you know, getting those knockouts? Um, yes, yes, and I think it's just my power is just natural. Like, it's just apart from God. <laughs> it's just natural. It's the Nigerian yeah, power yes. that it comes from. So <laughs> we, I mentioned Karis Artingstall and, and you were on Sky Sports recently and, yeah. and they mentioned that you would possibly or whether you'd be up for that fight and she's rumoured to be fighting in Wales coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's been announced but that, that's what we're hearing. Is that a fight you're interested in or are you possibly looking at the belts that Amanda Serrano is likely to be vacating with the IBF? Um, actually, like I'm looking forward to the big fight, to the big fight to what I choose and all that. But I just got out carries, like I can just fit in. I think she's got no opponent at the moment. Like I don't know, but I can just. It's gonna be a good fight, like to just show people how um, women boxing is going now at the moment. Like how we can do more better. You understand? But I was looking forward for a good fight, like for a what title, a big fight like that. You know? And until you get a big title around your waist, how difficult is it for you to find fights? You know, do you feel people don't want to fight you because of the danger you pose until you manage to get <laughs> possibly that IBF belt around your waist? Yeah, yes, I think people don't want to fight me at the moment. Like, and I think it's time for me to call them out. Like, they don't want to fight me, then I'll go meet them, okay? Let's, let's make it happen, let's fight. <laughs> and yeah. being a, a female boxer, it's already difficult, but being mm -hmm. a fighter from Nigeria in the UK is, is another challenge. People, I, I've heard people say that if you were a British fighter, you'd have a, a belt around your waist already because the opportunities you'd be given would be different. Would you say that's fair? Is it even harder for you to, to get out there and, and make a name for yourself? Yeah, you know, that's the truth. Like being a Nigerian boxer and come down here to the England or to the UK to fight, like it's quite challenging, it's quite difficult. You know, at times, uh, in terms of sponsorship and all that, you know, we are not British. I'm not British, so most people think, oh no, she's not British. No, we are not going for her. We need to go for our people. We need to do that. We need to do this. We need to do that. So I think it's quite challenging, but I think I'm getting through it. Like people, more people are getting involved and they're showing me love. You understand? So that's it. And is that a weird thing being from the UK? You know, you've got the likes of Joshua Boazzi, you know, Anthony Joshua, people with Nigerian heritage that are considered UK, that, that people love and adore like they're the very best. Do, does it frustrate you slightly or, or you just take it in your stride, you, you play the cards you're dealt? I'll just take it like, it's, you know, it's quite challenging though, but I'll just take it. But we can see people from Nigeria as well making it in the UK, they are making it a lot. But I think you just have to, you know, it's just time, it's just a matter of time. When your time comes, definitely people come for you. That's and. It. Having Sean Murray um, obviously helping you and managing your career and getting you the fights you need, how much confidence have you got that you're going to get to where you need to get with, with someone like Sean um, doing so much for you as he has? With the support of my manager, my team, like I'm very confident, 100%. I'm going to get there. Like We're working on it and we're going to announce a big fight coming soon. So I'm confident, 100%. Like My manager is there, my team is there. You know, They are all supporting me, so we're getting there soon. 
And you say you've got a big fight coming soon. Is that a, a fight you know who it's going to be in front of you, or is it a big fight? Actually, depending? I'm going to keep that. Uh, it's going to be announced very soon. <laughs> okay, well, we look forward to hearing it. Yeah, and, and thank you thank again you. for your time, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. All the best. Much. All right, thank you.